Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna jump right back into it. Uh, to, this lesson today will be on uh, the flesh colored layers. Now you can get a flesh color, it's already pre-mixed from Bountiful Baby. It's called um, Baby Skin. I don't use that, I just use my, I mix my own. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to mix it this evening. I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's mixing for me too good today. We're gonna try it. Okay, I'm gonna do this as one, one uh, brush. Uh, flesh 08. One little brush. I don't know whether that's gonna be enough or not. So we're gonna stick with that for now. And then I'm going to uh, add just a little bit more color. I'm gonna put in a, uh, this is called a raw sienna. I'm just gonna do a quarter of that for now, guys, cause it, this is pretty strong. Just gives a little bit of a golden undertone. Try that. And then we have just Genesis Red. And I mean, just, I'm talking just tip your brush. With it. We'll just put that in there. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Gives a little bit of a red color. I'm going to do one more brush of Flesh 08. So that would be two brushes of Flesh 08. Yeah, that's looking good, guys. Right there. And let me see again. I may try adding just another little dab of the raw sienna. I mean, just stick your end of your brush in it, just the tip. Just if it's not got enough gold in it, just gives the you know, like just stick your brush like that. Gives a little bit of a golden tone. Yeah, that's looking good, guys. And then I'm gonna do just another little just tip of red. You don't want this much red in here, just enough to give it a little bit of color. Now you see that? Doesn't that look like foundation? Looks really good, and that's how I do my mixing of my colors. Uh, I mean, my, my uh, flesh tones. And so we're gonna uh, start by now, like I, I told you before, let me close these up before they don't want them dry out. Like I told you before, a lot of people put this on with a just a cosmetic wedge. I, however, do not do that. I just do it like I'm doing a wash. This is what works for me, guys. I'm just, I don't want other people to think I'm saying that theirs is wrong. I'm not. It's just, I've tried it the other way. I cannot get it to work for me. And so I do it this way and it comes out good. So this is what I do. But, okay. I'm going to start like this with the wash. See how that's got, just kind of like a, it almost looks like a foundation, a makeup foundation to me. And so we're just going to, I'm just going to brush it on there just like that. I'm going to hold it over here because i got quite a lot, guys. i got too much there, a little bit. But anyways, I'm going to take my, my cosmetic wedge and start pouncing that off. The excess paint. It's just this way it ensures me until I'm getting into every little single nook and cranny. And I don't have to worry about it. So, we just do, just like we done with the other, I'll just do a leg and, one leg and one arm for you guys, and the head, and then you can do the rest. I know you can, I have confidence in you guys, I really do. But, this is what we call our flesh tone. Now, the other is, what we've been doing the other, that's like stuff that's like blood and stuff like this. And you want that all to go in under the skin like it's under, you know. So we're going to put a couple of these flesh layers on. And it's going to start covering some of that up. And make it look like it's under the skin, so to speak. And I'm going to do my brush again. This time I'm going to wipe a little bit off because i got a little bit too much paint. And I just paint it on there like that. It's very easy. Just paint it on there. The thing is that you just, you've just got to be sure that you get it out of the uh, the creases. This is a, of course I've done use the sponge guys, but uh, this is a used one. It's just like the other one, a, a uh, just like I done with the holes in it, except for instead of having the holes in the middle, I left the middle solid and I just picked all the uh, sharp edges from around it because it, you know, so it won't leave such a, a harsh sharp edge when you're pouncing on the paint anywhere. So that's how I done that. And then I'll do that. I'll take my mop. This is a three-quarter mop brush, and I got this from Dolls by Sandy. 
think I told you in the other one, but I just I thought maybe I'd tell you guys again. Uh, these are called baby stroke brushes, and they come from Dolls by Sandy. Great brushes. A little bit on my expensive side, but they're good. They're good brushes, guys. And then where I've done that, I don't want no, no um, brush marks. So I'm just going to go back over it again with my cosmetic wedge, my sponge. And we're just going to go back, pounce back over it again. Okay, and then we're going to go back to the top. Um, I do all my parts in sections like this, and I kind of got my own little routine. How I do it. It doesn't matter. You can do it any way you like. This is just my own little routine. This is the way I do my all my pieces. I kind of do the foot, the leg, and the top, uh, bottom of the leg, top of the leg. And I do the arms the same way. I do the hand, and this part of the arm, and then the upper part of the arm. And then my head, I divide it into two sections. And do that in two sections. So now I'll probably do about two layers of this flesh, uh, but you can add as many layers of flesh as you want. If if you got your um, uh, your motley a little too dark to your liking, you can add three four layers of flesh to you know to to create the illusion of distance between this layer and the mottling layers, like it's under the skin. So, you know, you can you can put as many as three, four, five coats on if you want to, just to keep getting further and further and further away from the, um, you know, the actual mottling color, if it's too dark. See, this just kind of covers it up some too, if you get it a little too dark. So, and there's one leg, guys. And so I'm just gonna put it over here and these are translucent colors. That's the reason you have to do so many because you have to do it in translucent colors. You don't want the paint real thick and, and just gob up everywhere on the kit. It won't. It ain't going to look good like that. You do very translucent layers. See, when I paint that on there, just, it's white, but it's just, you can still see through it. That's what, you know, that's what I mean by translucent. You can see it on there, but you can still see through it. And it takes so many small little layers like that. And, um, but this is just, just the way it is. It's, you know, it's the way you got to do it. Because it won't look good if you try it the other way, putting too much on at once. It's going to look painted. And you don't want it to look painted. You want it to look real. Like real, um, blood and under the skin. And then the skin to look like a beautiful. Now, sometimes I don't do it all, uh, all the time this way. But this is the easiest way. That I could think of. I mean, sometimes I won't put the yellow in. I'll just do a flesh layer, make up my flesh layer. Won't put the yellow in it. Uh, and then I'll do a yellow layer on the baby. But I done it this way. It's a lot easier. And it, it still gives the baby a little bit of golden tones underneath everything. I think it's very pretty like this. And this is the easiest way. Uh, I'm trying to give the easiest I can think of about how to to do it, you know, in case there's a lot of beginners, and I'm sure there is, because, you know, advanced people wouldn't want to be watching it, I don't think, because they already know how to do all this, guys, so I'm trying to, my best to make it as, as easy for you as I can, you know, I just don't want people to give up on it, I want people to be able to do it, and be proud of their baby that they made, and, you know, Oh, darn, I done the other leg, didn't I? I was supposed to do an arm. Oh, well. That's okay, guys. You can bear with me, I think, a little bit longer. Don't take long to do a leg. To watch me do the other leg. Now, as I said, guys, I know I'll do two layers of this. I know I will. There'll be at least two layers of this going. Maybe three. It just depends on how it looks to me. Um, but I'll let you know when I come back on the video to do the next lesson. How many layers that I had to put on. And what you do is in between each layer you have to bake. I get this one done. Uh, completely done. I'll, I'm going to let it dry and see if I need to do any adjusting on it. Before I put it in the oven to bake. And then I will put it in the oven to bake for 8 minutes. I'll bring it out. I'll let it cool. I'll put another layer of this same stuff. And if I have to make up some more color I will. Uh, you know. But you can go by what I told you there. And just watch me on there. And um. Uh, don't put a lot of the yellow in there, the raw sienna, and don't put a lot of the uh, red. Just uh, uh, 
uh, flesh 08 mostly, but just a little yellow, a raw, little yellow, uh, raw sienna, and a little bit of Genesis red, and just keep mixing it till you get just kind of looking like a uh, a makeup foundation, and it will look it'll look pretty on the baby. Pretty color. Now I do all different colors of skin tones. This is just like I said. This is this is just one way that I do some of my Caucasian babies. Now some, not all, some. I do a lot of different ones. Sometimes I'll do a real pretty rosy complexion. I tend to lean towards the redder colored babies. Okay, there's another. I'm bad for that leaning towards the, I can see a difference in that. It's so pretty with the mop leaning under it. Beautiful. Turned out great, guys. Okay, now I'll do your hand for you. The hand for you. But it turned out great. Just by that, I'll show you in a minute when I get this little hand done. It, gosh, it turned out beautiful. It's a, it's unreal to me what a difference the motley makes. And at first, it don't look too good. Like I told you guys yesterday, I know when I first started it, I thought, oh my God, that ruined, that ruined my baby. But it don't. Once you start putting these other layers on top of it, gosh, it looks so good. The motley does. I just love motley now. But when I first started doing the motley, it really scared me. Because it looked so weird, you know, before you get all that on there. But once you get all the other extra layers on, you know, it don't look like that. It's really nice. Okay. Taking my mop and getting in between the fingers. Watch the fingernails too, guys. Sometimes the color will get around the fingernails there and you don't see it. You don't, I've done it a couple of times. And uh, then it bakes in like that and it don't look good. See, I've made lots of mistakes, guys, too. I mean, you know, it just, it, it takes practice, and, and I still make mistakes. I still get to looking at it and think, oh, that looks horrible. I just hate that. But we'll get this layer on this little hand and little arm, and then I'll show you the head, and then I'll leave it up to you how many more layers you want to do after you bake it, but in between each layer on these, on, on the flesh, You've got to put bake in between because the way I do mine now, probably if you just put it on your sponge and done this, like you know others do, some people does it that way. And like I said, if you want to do it that way, it's perfectly fine. It just don't work for me. And uh, but they won't they won't do bake in between all these layers because you know they're just dabbing. But with this, the way I wipe it, you know, on there, if I didn't. Bake in between it, just take that other layer off when you, you know, the one that you just put on there. It would just absolutely take it away. It would just take it right off and it wouldn't even do you any good. See how I wipe mine? Well, if there was a layer under that that hadn't been baked, then this layer would be, it would take that layer off. So I would, I'd be working, you know, wouldn't work. <laughs> so, but now if I was just doing this all over the kit, you know, putting the color on there and doing this, then, you know, it would work that way. You wouldn't have to bake between each layer. But you can do it that way if that's what you like. It's just, it just don't work for me. I'd rather do it this way. I know that way. It's all in every crease. It's every never nook and cranny. Uh, you know, and this is just my way of doing it. Take your mop, get all those creases, which, and then once it dries, I don't, don't never bake till you look it over. Because once it, once it dries, you know, it's permanent. Don't ever, ever, ever bake. Put a little bit more right there. Get this around the back. I don't think I had hardly that wet back there on the back. Okay, but I always look at it over before you put it in to bake because you can always take it off if it don't look good before you bake. Once it's once you bake, it's permanent. So I always just hang mine up to let them dry. And then when they're dry, I look them back over. If everything looks good, I put them in the oven. And bake them and then they're set permanently okay guys i'll show you on the head and then i'm going to jump off i try not to do my videos too long oh i, I wanted to mention to you guys too while i'm thinking of it and i've got you on here i had mentioned to you one day about you know uh if you're a child uh, you know a young person a kid please please don't do not don't try this stuff uh, you know get an adult to help you because it, we are working with chemicals here guys and as I told you this stuff can burn you because I got it I got burnt with it that's one thing I did want to tell you since I didn't get to tell you on the video I told you I'd go in more in depth with it 
but I did get burned on it. Um, what happened was, is I was cleaning a, I had been painting her, and this is when I first started painting her, and what I would do is I'd practice, on, I had a practice head, and I'd practice on the head, and put it on, if it didn't look, you know, then I'd take it off with the mineral spirits, I'd put it, you know, pour it like over the top of the head, and then just wipe it off, and it all come off, and I'd do it again. Well, when I was pouring it, I didn't notice it, and I, it, it splashed up on my shirt, like right along in here, like along about the, the chest. And so I changed the shirt, but I didn't realize that the it had gotten onto my underclothes. And so when I sat down, I, it right underneath my bra, it had got on my bra underneath. And um, I noticed I kept itching, itching, and I, I would scratch it, you know, scratch it. Well, what I happened was it was because it sat there for a while on that on that place, and uh, so I went to the bathroom to check it out. And when I got in there, it was just really, really, really red. And I thought, oh man! But I thought, well, it just made it red. It's okay. By the next day, that whole layer, and I washed it good and cleaned it too. But by the next day, that whole layer of skin just came off, and very painful. And I couldn't hardly get it well, but well because it was a chemical burn. So I had to call the doctor, and the doctor called me in some silvadine cream, and that's for burns. If they give you for burns, and she called me in some of that, and I took some antibiotics because it was it's getting really red looking and infected, and I was afraid I was going to get an infection. So I've done that, and it finally healed up. But it, it took about a month, guys, for that to heal up, and it was big. It was like, let me set the baby head down right here. It was like, from my hand out to here, it was like a place that big. And so I still got a scar there, and I'll always have a scar there because, you know, it burned there. And so that's the reason I say, please don't, young people do not get somebody to help you if you do this. Don't don't be doing it with, uh, you know, messing with these because these are chemicals. And, and that's painful. And it took about a month to heal, and it actually got real, real red. And I was afraid I was going to catch an infection, you know, in there because, and I had to, I had to get the silver dean cream, which cost me like $35. And I had to get the, um, uh, uh, sterile gauze to keep over it and all that stuff. And I had to change it and, uh, the dressings two, three times a day because it was, uh, you know, it was like oozing, you know, I was getting an infection. And, um, so it's just gross, you know, sorry that was gross you out, but I mean, it was. And uh, so, very painful. Please, guys, don't, young people, don't mess with this. And older people, you know, if you get it on you, right then, go and, and pull off your clothes. If it's on your clothes, get them off of you and change that and wash that place real, real good and get that off of you right immediately. Now, if I'd have done that immediately and took that off immediately, it probably wouldn't have burned me. But I didn't, and I didn't realize that it had got onto my bra, and it was just holding it, you know, in one place, and it burnt me. It burnt me really bad. So everybody just be careful with these chemicals when you use it. And this is uh, mineral spirits, but paint thinner would do the same thing. If it was paint thinner, it would do the same thing. They're chemicals you're working with, and you have to be really careful, and I was, I wasn't. I wasn't watching what I was doing, and so I got burnt. So... Anyway, I just want to tell you guys that little story. Because I told you the other day I'd go in more depth in it when I had a chance. Okay, guys. We got her all done. I'm going to sit her up here and I'm going to let her flash off. Dry. See how shiny she looks? That means that's wet. So I have to sit over here till it dries. And you can tell it won't have this shiny look to it. I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to bake it for 8 minutes on 265 degrees. I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to let it sit completely cool. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put another coat of this on and do the same thing. Put another coat on. I'm going to put it in the oven uh, eight, uh, for eight minutes on 265 degrees. I'm going to take it out and let it cool. And then I'll look at it. And if all the mottling looks like it's far back behind that enough for me, I won't put any more. But I always do two layers. But I may have to put a third layer. I don't know. It depends on how far the mottling, which I think I'll only have to do too because I was looking at her mottling here. It looks great. Looking great. Let me show you now. I wanted to show you after this one flashed off. 
after that first coat. I don't know if my camera's going to pick it up or not, but I just wanted to show you the flesh coat over the top of that. I don't, I, I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing or not, but just beautiful. Okay, guys, that's the end of this lesson. Like I said, I will. I'll keep on continuing to work with this and put more layers on as many as I need. But that's the end of the flesh layer lesson. Uh, do at least two coats of this, guys, and my, even possibly a third one. But I will tell you how many I used when we come back to the next lesson. And then the next lesson will be, I will warm up the, we're going to warm up the skin then. We're going to give it a little bit of a reddish, I do a red wash on it, and it, it warms it up real a lot. So we're going to do that next. But I hope you guys do does okay with this and get your skin layers on your flesh layers and so anyway that's it for this lesson guys and i'll see you in the next lesson and as always guys thanks for watching bye bye